hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of scorpio so if you have scorpio anywhere in your birth chart this video may resonate with you cross watches are welcome as well okay so let's see what's going on for scorpio spirit guides of the night and says to the masters my angel of prime light please protect this deck from any negative energies please let me to receive kind of concise messages for scorpio So we have here anger management. We have here expecting new beginning. So you could have had um, a child with somebody here that has anger management problems. Okay. And I'm saying when you told this person that you was pregnant, this person didn't give you the reaction that you wanted. Okay. What else? Like they could have had like a like they wasn't happy that he was pregnant. We have right now, so you can live by the water. Oh, I'm seeing here that somebody here could have had a baby behind your back here. And it's like you could have either found out and they could either be saying like, you know, that you don't know what you're talking about here. Just keeping on with some type of lie here. We have doing drugs. Yeah, so this person, they could do drugs heavy, okay? And I see why this person does drugs because they got anger management problems. Like, I, I guess they do drugs to calm they self down. I'm seeing pills here, some Coke, some, some probably some weed or something like that. Or cigarettes. And I'm seeing liquor too. So somebody here could drink a lot. Yeah, we have bad choices. So another card of smoking. So somebody here could smoke tobacco too much. And you realize here that you made a bad choice. Or you could smoke weed or something like that. I don't feel like it's nothing with smoking weed. But it's like now, it's like I've been hearing too much stuff going on as far as like people putting stuff in weed and stuff like that. Like that's why I feel like it's better to just grow your own weed so it could be natural, you know? So that's probably what you do. You probably grow your own weed or something. But, uh, and we have here needing to protect yourself. Yeah, keep yourself safe. So somebody here, it's like they could like, like when they do too much of something, a substance or something, it's like that's when they get mad and they start hitting you or something like that. And it's like you could be pregnant. And it's like that's this person's way of trying to like make you lose the the baby or something like that. And yeah, and that's why, yeah, you were, you were somebody here that's abusive. And I'm seeing here that you need to protect yourself. You need to get away from this person. And this person, I feel like that was a way of trying to trap you as well. Like this person is very possessive and obsessed over you by keeping by getting you pregnant here. They could have got you pregnant and somebody else pregnant. But they're not telling you about this because this person is sneaky. We have fighting for what you love, claiming what yours loves, the battle fear, and in their fields. Mm. So it's somebody here that wants this person and you don't want their ass. It's like somebody here, it could have been a competition with you over this person. It could have been, like, they could have texted you and be like, I'm pregnant with this person's child. Like, we've been talking for this long, and he's going to be in the, their my child life or she, whatever. And you're just like, I don't want you. Like, this nigga's abusive or whoever. We have red lipstick stains, evidence of cheating. Yeah, so that's how you caught this person was cheating and running around with other people because you caught it. Some type of lip gloss or some type of glitter or something was on this person or perfume scent or something. And this person is like, you're leaving them behind. It's like they're trying to either come and fight for you because you don't want to be with them because they're abusive. Definitely that shit fucked up if you were pregnant too and they're being abusive and they know that you got their child inside you. Like they're come trying to call you stress or something. A miscarriage or something like that. This person is weird. I 
and we have total drama action and we have here tantric sex yeah so it's like this person they keep either trying to seduce you or they feel like sex is going to fix everything or something like that and this person has a sex addiction and they can even be saying like you better not be fucking other people or you know or i'm gonna hurt you and hurt them And I'm hearing like that cuckoo is mine. I'm not gonna say the actual words because you know YouTube be tweaking, but you know. And we have don't want to hear. Yeah, you don't want to hear that shit. Like you could have blocked this person or something like that. This person needs to go check themselves. For real, for real. This person is trying to. It's like. They're trying to instill some type of fear into you so you won't leave them. Like, they're trying to make it so hard on you to the point where you give in and be like, all right, I'm going to stay with you. You know? But you're not. And you could be saying, like, yeah, because this person is a, is a player. It's a game. You don't want that. You know? And it's, you can be telling this person, like, you don't want to be with them anymore. This person keeps trying to, like, have sex with you and shit. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to, them to touch you. Definitely if they playing around and being a hoe. Like, ew. That's not safe for the baby or you. And we have ideas, problem solving, and figuring shit out. Yeah, so you can be figuring out this person has been messing with a lot of people while they're dealing with you. And you're just like, ew, like, disgusting. You feel me? Like, nasty. You could be getting the police involved. If, you, if this person is being abusive to you, you probably need to get the most definitely, not probably, you most definitely need to get the police involved. And it's like this person, they're the type of person where you try to talk to them and it's like they talk over you or they yell over you or some shit like that. Like, shut the fuck up. This person talks too much. We have envy and we have busy, stress, delay, time management, rush late yeah this person is like they're very envious over you this person just has a hateful soul and it's like they're spending all their time watching you making sure you're not dealing with nobody else i don't know if you block this person on social media i don't know but if you haven't they're watching you fake apology yeah they could be trying to send you messages saying they're sorry it's fake and we have fake friends that it could be either getting their friends to text you and be like what your car say they miss you and keep texting them back or call them back and shit like that like these friends are fake as fuck some of this person friends probably want you found you attractive you know? or tried to come on towards you before we have diamond girl going to shine and i hate nothing about you So I'm saying this person trying to manipulate you to come back. They could either be bribing you with money or something like that or some type of gift. And they could be saying like, I'm sorry, like I hate nothing about you all the whole time there. They hate your ass for their reason, for their own reasons. We have a movie date. Yeah, this person trying to take you out on some type of date or something like that. And you're standing your ground. Yeah, you're defending yourself. You're like, mm -mm, I'm good. Well, you probably even hit this person up. They're just talking to they at, talk to themselves, talking to a wall, basically. And I'm seeing this person gonna have friends telling this person like, um, like they need to leave you. You're not good for them. Some shit like that. Like this lot about you saying that you are a attention seeker and you tried to come on to them or some shit like that. But these f fake friends, they could be jealous of you. Motherfuckers be jealous, having secret animosity, and you don't even fuck with them or know them like that. You feel me? Like, that's crazy as fuck. But you are who you hang around with. And this person, they got that same hate towards you. Mm-hmm. 
And this person is trying to do the most to get you back, but it's not going to work here. You're fighting lies or something. You probably was married to this person or something, but you're breaking some type of contract. Game over. It's over with. You have somebody else here that's going to come and nurture you. They hate nothing about you. And this person, they're going to treat you right. You know, they're going to show you off here. They're going to cater to you. You know, even your child here. Somebody's going to be accepting of your child, you know. And they're going to understand what you went through. And they're going to be taking you out on dates. They're going to, what? You're going to upgrade, definitely. Somebody here is going to be jealous and mad as fuck. But they listen to these fake friends that didn't even know you. Just basically judging you or something like that. You could dress like very nice or, you know, very revealing or something like that. And somebody here could be saying like you were a hoe. Like, look how you dress. Mm-hmm. And look at you, you're going to be watching shit go down, watching this person like just, you know, person probably go to jail or some shit like that. But this person is insecure as fuck. Very insecure. And you're going to be, yeah, like that situation with um Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy. Like, this is like one of those type of situations where you dress, you know, revealing and somebody here is jealous. But it's like, you probably was already just in the villain before you met this person, you know? And it's like, what's, you think shit gonna change because you were part of my life? Like, if you look good, you look good. Somebody here just can't deal with the fact that you was bad as fuck. Like, period. But you're gonna be watching, yeah, this person just making a bid for themselves. So they're gonna eventually lay in it if they haven't already. You're gonna be staying centered, allowing yourself the universe not bother a bit the fuck <laughs> mm -hmm. and this person they're gonna be gossiping about you and shit talking shit about you cause you don't wanna be with their ass anymore to these fake friends or whoever <laughs> and next thing you know next thing you motherfucking know this person probably be dead or in jail or broke as fuck, a bomb, a crack here somewhere. Okay, we have here, you were the best thing in my life. What else? Of course you were the best thing in this person's life. I couldn't let you get close to me. This person knew that they had these problems here. You speak to me through music. Y'all could have had like a connection with music. Y'all both could like music or this person could have been like an artist or something like that. Or it could be music that come on. And it's basically like, you know, Telling this person how you felt, you know? And this person is realizing that they can relate to that song because it's the shit that they did to you in that song. We have a high behind material thing. So, yeah, so this person could be very materialistic. And then I say that this person is trying to buy you gifts and shit. I wish I could take back my words. I regret lying to you. I can't stop thinking about you. Mm -hmm. This is their higher self coming through. That they will never tell you, and I want you, <laughs> but you don't want them. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope this video gave guys a lot of clarity. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.